I'm aware I missed yesterday as an upload day, but um, I needed a recoup day, if you don't mind. Uh, your decisions that you've been making over on Instagram, music by Stone, drop a, drop a follow, and then drop a vote, if you don't mind, have just been baffling to me, and um, I couldn't bring myself to do it yesterday. But the good news is, at least that means today you get two videos. Right now, people are voting on the semifinals, and then tomorrow are the finals. And I'm ready for this to be over, if I'm being quite frank. Because y'all out here sh stressing me out with these decisions. But it's okay. If you're jumping into this video, basically what's been happening is, over the last week, I've been pitting up film against film, thanks to the lovely people over at Why We Disney, who made this movie bracket that you're seeing on your screen currently. And, you know... When I started this, I didn't see it going this way, but hey, you guys have a bracket and I have a personal bracket. And come tomorrow, we're gonna see exactly how different these brackets are and boy are they. Let's skip all the pleasantries and talk about your bad decisions today. <laughs> if you're new here, please feel free to subscribe. Leave a like on this video, comment down below out of these films specifically, which one is your favorite? So for the first matchup today, you guys had Lion King versus Finding Nemo. Okay, one of Disney's finest versus one of Pixar's finest. I understand how we got here. And most of you voted Lion King. 32% uh, of you was really rocking with Finding Nemo over Lion King, though, so... That's cool. Me, personally, on my bracket, I had Lion King versus Little Mermaid. And this is one of them hard ones. Uh, the characters, Ariel, Sebastian, Flounder, Triton, Ursula, Scuttle, Eric, Lion King, you know, Simba, Mufasa, Timon, Pumba, Scar, Shenzi, Bonza, Bonsai? Is that one of the... Hyena's name's Ed? Uh... A sarabi. Nala. Music. Circle of Life. Can't wait to be king. Akuna Matata. Can you feel the love tonight? Be prepared. Kiss the girl. Under the sea. That chef song. I'm missing some. And I can't think of them, so Lion King gets it for me, too. That That's... Dem to breaks. Next, your matchup was Toy Story versus Mulan. And, uh, okay. Okay. There could have been worse movies in this roundup. And there could have been better movies too, but you know, y'all want to vote on dumb sh So, Toy Story ended up taking this round. Mulan put up a valiant fight with 36% of the vote. Personally, my matchup is Princess and the Frog versus Aladdin. The correct matchup, in my opinion. While she's come so far, this is the round that Tiana takes an L because Aladdin is fantastic and it's my absolute favorite Disney movie. And am I biased? No, because Princess and the Frog is also one of my absolute favorite Disney movies. So it just comes down to the characters, the music, and how memorable the film is. And the fact that one of them came out in the 90s when I was growing up compared to 2009, when I was like in high school, it, it's not fair, but Aladdin's gonna get it. <laughs> Next, you guys had The Incredibles versus Moana. And um, not only am I upset at the results of this, I'm upset that this was the matchup. But 51% of you gave it to The Incredibles, where 49% of you really fought for my girl Moana, so I appreciate you, but The Incredibles are moving forward. I'm not mad at this because The Incredibles is a fantastic film, one of my favorites. And going up against Moana, another one of my favorites. Like, this shit started to get tough. However... My bracket was even harder because I had Coco versus Moana. Mm. Moana beat Coco. I'm wrong. I can't be. It, it, it's so hard. But when you break it down, characters. Name me five characters from Coco. Hector. Yep. Miguel. Yep. 
Uh, okay. <laughs> I just said it. Oh, okay. Go for it. Uh, Ernesto de la Cruz. Yep. And uh, Dante. Oh, shit. All right. Moana, Maui, Pua, Hey Hey, Tamatoa. Oh, that doesn't count. He's not a character. He's in the show. The Kakamura, the then. For 30 seconds. All right. Name me th th three songs from Coco. Un Poco Loco. Remember me. Proud Corazon. How far I'll go, shiny. You're welcome. They're both good. They're so good, bro. <laughs> but like, if it comes down to it, I've watched Moana more than I've watched Coco. Let's rewatch Coco. We might have to. I love Coco. I love you. <laughs> All right, but Moana wins, even though Dia just fought for Coco. That was the conversation I was having in my head, but Moana ultimately takes it. The last matchup was Hercules versus Monster Inc. All y'all came through for my boy Herc. 53% uh, of y'all voted for Hercules and 47% voted for Monster Zing. Sorry, Mike and Sully, but uh, scare y'all asses on the, on the loser's bench. What'd you say? Which one did you vote for? Over Herc? Yeah. Who put the Glad in Gladiator? Put that thing back where it came from, or so helping. Get up on the Hydra's back. <laughs> If you know that joke, you're cool with me. And let me know down in the comments where that quote is from. Because Hercules has Herc. It has Hades, Meg, Phil. Danny DeVito is in one of these, bro. Come on. Come on. Monsters, Inc. wasn't stacking up against Hercules. So, the Muses? Pegasus? Zeus? Aren't you on that work? You're agreeing with it. <laughs> It's a pretty good quote. For me, I had Hercules versus Tarzan. Another really hard choice. Because when it comes to characters, they're all fantastic. When it comes to villains specifically, they're, they're both pretty good. When it comes to music, they're both bangers. <laughs> How memorable though? Hercules is probably just a tad bit more memorable. And that's that's where I'm staying on that one. If you haven't been voting for your favorite movie, now's the time to do it. This video is going up a day late, so the vote's already probably done. But pretend that it came out yesterday when it was supposed to. Get you voting over on Music by Snow and on Instagram. Leave a like. Comment down below which one of these films are your favorites. And if there were any upsets, uh, subscribe if you're new here. Welcome to the neighborhood, and I'll see you in the next one, which will be in... a. Like an hour.